Hey, hey everyone, it is Havo High here bringing another video on Dragon Ball Z Zocom Battle. We are doing a full breakdown of this brand new hyped amazing unit in LR, Goku and Frieza. Yes, this is a finally arrived. This is going to be basically part two of the global or the JP versus global uh, campaign. And uh, this should be dropping uh, when this video is being recorded pretty soon. And uh, I want to give a shout out to DBZ Space, uh, the Dokkan Reddit, and of course Dokkan Wiki for all this information. And if you are new to my channel, of course, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Let's do this breakdown, give you all the stats, how to, uh, how to LR this unit, and then also do some team building. Let's get to it. First and foremost, this is the silhouette on the... On this on the banner that you want to uh, to get here you get the silhouette you're gonna get really excited and boom you're gonna get the SSR Goku and Frieza final form angel he's a tech type actually TUR is into a super tech type and that is the unit that you're gonna want so the full art is gonna be here on the left hand side TURs to the right hand side there and look at that TUR art so I, I love the color scheme it's it's very similar or pretty much the same as uh, the colors for LR uh, Super Vegito and LR Gogeta. Looks amazing and uh, yeah, I can't wait, I can't wait. So in order for you to go from SSR to TUR, uh, you're going to have to grind uh, some more Transformation Goku and Transformation Frieza medals, 35 each. That's going to uh, get you uh, awakening uh, this unit here, so uh, if you haven't done that, get your uh, grinding going there hopefully you also have pulled uh, these two units uh, with Goku and Frieza there so amazing to uh, uh, two new, new TURs on there so on top of that once you get this unit to TUR you're gonna LR this unit and this is very interesting uh, this is I think the first time that this ever happened where the uh, the LR or any unit has different requirements to awaken them so awakening this unit to an LR on JP, you're going to need to have 21 medals for UI Goku, Angel Golden Frieza, the uh, TUR Jiren, and then MVP 17. So 21 of each. However, on Global, you just need to have 35 medals for UI Goku and Angel Golden Frieza because we don't have the TUR uh, uh, Jiren or the MVP 17 yet so yeah it's, it, I'm, I'm glad that we're getting this unit as soon as we are you know this is the same time as JP just like we did for, uh, for Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and uh, Omega Shenron last year so I'm glad that we're getting this unit here but it's just a little different on here that really makes uh, us want some of these other units that, that are going to be uh, up and coming especially MVP 17 that's going to be coming so let's go ahead and look, take a look at these ridiculous stats. So it is the Miraculous Outcome, Goku and Frieza, Final Form Angel, LR, cost 77, Super Tech Type. Leader skill is Representatives of Universe 7, a Category Key Plus 3, and HP Attack and Defense 177% across the board, making this the highest, uh, uh, highest category lead or highest stat uh, boost for any leader skill in the game and it has a secondary leader skill in tech type key plus three HP and attack defense 90% like your OG uh, LR there so super attack is limit breaking assault is the 12 key and then the miracle of universe 7 is 18 key very important for that uh, 18 key there the ultra uh, super attack I'll, I'll tell you in a bit so the 12 key causes colossal damage to the enemy lowers attack and then the 18 key causes mega colossal damage to the enemy and lowers attack and defense so the passive skill the miraculous cooperation is attack and defense of 77 percent right off the bat or actually when you're when you're attacking and then gives you an additional 100 or no, sorry, 100 uh, 77 percent uh, making 154 uh, percent increase when performing a ultra super attack so uh, that's important it's an ultra super attack not just a regular super attack so much like your Super Saiyan 3 uh, uh, Goku your LR uh, LR 3 coup um, you're gonna need that 18 key and that's very important so on top of that that, uh, that you'll get another 77% if the uh, enemy has his attack down or reduction of attack when you're when you're hitting him so that's uh, that's now 
this number is ridiculous, 231% uh, increase. And that's just passive, and you have to add that 177% on top of that. Plus, if you have a friend, it's another 177%. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. But, uh, uh, once again, amazing unit. Uh, Link skill is, is important to get that 18 key. So, you're going to, uh, the three links that you're going to be focusing on is over in a flash, shocking speed, and tournament power. Tournament power, uh, you know, works really well with this team here. You're gonna get plus three to key, and then uh, most of these units here also are over to flash, um, so you can get a lot of key. So sh getting 18 key on this unit shouldn't be too hard uh, when you're uh, when you're using this team. And I'll, I'll show you what the team looks like in a second. Categories are universal survival saga, uh, full power, which uh, global doesn't have yet, and then representatives of universe seven. I want to point out something on the stats. It is attack stat. You know, this is like this unit is really all about attacking. Look at look at his uh, you know attack increase and buff. Uh, 23,177 is the full on maxed out attack. That puts him at number two of the top attack stat that you can get. So these are all not all the LRs, but the top what 20 LRs. And uh, only LR Broly has a higher attack stat maxed out than anyone else. So if you look at the other two LR, uh, Dokkan Fest uh, type LRs, and that's Gogeta and Super Vegito, look at their attack stat way, way lower than uh, than the Goku Frieza. So amazing, amazing unit. I can't wait to use him. So let's go ahead and break down now the uh, representatives of Universe 7 uh, team. That way you can build on. So this is the representatives here. These are all the units here. The, the only issue with the, this unit is really the selection of the team. This is very limited, as you can see here. You have to make sure that you have particular units and you've pulled these units uh, to make this team work. So now on Global, we don't have uh, MVP 17 or Evolution Vegeta, so that is uh, a problem. But it is still a usable team, and I'll show you kind of how we're going to break this all down. So on JP, JP looks something like this, uh, this team here, uh, you're going to have MVP 17, you're going to have UI Goku, you're going to have Evolution Vegeta, that's for sure. The bottom two spots are definitely interchangeable. Uh, I don't like Angel Golden Frieza because of the reduction, the 15% reduction on super type allies, but if you want to use them, that's fine. If that's your only option, that's fine there too. You can also use uh, the TUR uh, Tech uh, MVP 17 and... Uh, and 18 um, those actually work out really well on global you're gonna probably have to use them and um, and if you don't have for example god uh, there or you want to not have a support unit in the tech uh, Vegito you can then use uh, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken hey he's back and that's kind of nice to use that unit because that unit has been dead for a very long time so they brought him back there so it is a plausible unit that you can use on this team but I think that top team there uh, uh, will will synergize the best with uh, you know your turn event of power uh, links and uh, and a support unit there so on global on the other hand a lot different missing those top two uh, units there so this is the team that I think works out really well that 18 works out good because he's she's a orb changer and uh, once again if you are missing certain units that is going to increase the uh, Goku Frieza to give him to 18 key. This, that Orb Changer does help on there. Now you can also run a uh, full tech team as well. So uh, this being the global team that you're going to be running on, that you can run a full tech team and uh, it could look something like this and it's still going to hit really, really hard. Uh, and then you can also use that, uh, that support TN to kind of mitigate that uh, drop of 177% to only 90%. But if you look at it, uh, you're still using uh, two units in MVP 17 and 18 that's still part of the members of Universe 7. And so you can use those units as attackers there. So this is a viable way of using uh, this team here, but not optimal, of course. So uh, with that, man, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to use this unit. Hopefully, uh, this information provided you enough uh, uh, data and enough thought and saying, "Hey, is this unit, you know, do 
do I summon for this unit? I would say yes. Uh, spend a ton of stones on there. The banner isn't really good uh, because it is a legendary summon, but if you don't have a lot of LRs, you might pull some other LRs as well. So, uh, all in all, this is this banner is going to be dropping you know, right around the corner from this video dropping, and uh, once again, can't wait. Hopefully, uh, you guys can pull them. Uh, so, of course, again, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below. Thank you guys for watching. Keep on doconing. We'll catch you next time.